Alright guys, welcome back to Timeless Talks. We are back at the home, the track offices. You are here with your host, your boy Chris, and my boy Nico of the Puerto Rican Shoals. And we're back from the summer on our very first and special podcast here. To the right of me, I have a swimmer slash dietitian that went to the Olympic trials. Her name is Tori. Tori, go ahead and introduce yourself to the people. Kind of walk us through your story and how you ended up here at the University of Nebraska. Okay, so um, my name is Tori Beeler. Um... I kind of started out swimming because I got hurt in gymnastics. I was a gymnast till the age of 13. I broke my left wrist and it was the growth plate, so it was an iffy one. And then my right ankle within a week of each other. And the ankle was the second time in a year that I had broken it. (laughs) Red flags. So there was, I did a summer of having a boot all year. And then the next summer, I had a bedazzled cast and a boot again. While you were 13? This is all while you were 13? Um, 11, I broke the ankle. Mm -hmm. And then 12, I broke my wrist. And then two weeks later, my ankle. Oh, yeah. (laughs) So you were going through it as a child. Yeah. (laughs) And then I got my um, cast off. My coach, um, gymnastics is kind of... Once you're better, you're better, mm, right. quote, unquote. And then I, the day I got my cast off, I was doing the skills without any kind of brace that I broke it on. So, like, I was doing back handsprings on beam, broke it, just snapped. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, why? That's terrible. I'm oh, sorry to laugh. This oh, is no, so it's funny. Dramatic. It's funny. Um, and then I... So they're four hour practices at twelve years old. Um, oh, so I got yeah, my cast working, off. Working. Yeah, Sweet. I got my cast off in the morning. So around eight, nine, I got to practice at ten with still two <laughs> oh, hours no. left, <laughs> and they were on beam. And she was like, "Okay, take that brace off. It's not going to help you. Go back on beam. Start doing back handsprings." It's like, no. Mm. So it didn't heal right. right. <laughs> and then um, I still had my boot on at the time. <laughs> and she was, I was like, how am I supposed to do that on beam with a boot? She was like, well, you can take it off. I was like, and at 12 years old, you just do it. You, do you it, just you know, do yeah. it. Right. So that didn't heal right either. So I go back to the doctor, and they're like, well, you're kind of messed up. <laughs> so they didn't release me, and I couldn't do any impact sports. Mm. Yeah, still I technically can't because I never went back. <laughs> my brother was swimming at the time. My dad was a swimmer, um, so he got into swimming, and that was a non-impact sport. And they put me in it, and I hated it because I was <laughs> bad. I don't like being bad at things. And so I was like, well, might as well get a lot of private lessons because... I hate being bad, mm. and I want to be good. She wants to tap in. Right, right, yeah. Right, right. Beast mode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot, a lot of muscle, so I could, like, muscle through the races, and uh-huh. I could, like, win them, but the times just weren't good. Oh, yeah. You know? This is yeah. when you're 14? Yeah, 13. 13 still? Dang. Yeah. My, that's a long yeah. 13, bro. That year right. is the longest year I've ever yeah. seen. My, my first swim meet was a long course meet, so it's a 50-meter pool compared to college it's 25 yards so um i did that when i was i got my cast off and everything and i still had my boot on but it was kind of like we were about to get it off and it was a little like meat i guess and the coaches were like you can put her in if you want because i'm had to go to every meet anyway oh, yeah, <laughs> <Teammates>. <laughs> might as well cool off because it's like 90 degrees and crying mm. on a like pool deck outside because i have a cast on one arm and a boot on another leg oh. so it's so <laughs> hot they're like just put her in a race so she can cool off so that was my first race is when I still had a broken foot. Oh. So you can cool off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, they were putting you through a lot, bro. As a 12 year old. 11 girl. through 13 was just yeah. broken. But hey, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, it made you who you are mm-hmm. today. Yeah. Uh, I mean, looking back at your childhood, what do you think was like the most impactful moment like that got you where you are right now in Nebraska? Impactful? Probably 
when I switched my club teams beginning of junior year of high school. Okay. So I was on a club team in Kansas City, and it was good, but it wasn't like the coach wanted me to do freestyle. I wasn't good at freestyle, but it right. was like he liked freestyle, so he put me in it so I could be good at freestyle. Mm-hmm. I hated it, and it's still my worst stroke in college. Um, so I was like, well, me and the coach aren't meshing well. Let's switch teams. Mm-hmm. Didn't really like any of the girls in Kansas City. It was very, like, I came into swimming very, very late. Oh, yeah. The swimmers are starting at five years old. And by 12, they already have their strokes. And then 13, you're coming in. Yeah, I'm coming in. Injured. Yeah. And at first, <laughs> it was like the, I was the cute kid that wasn't very fast. So it was like, oh, poor Tori. Mm-hmm. But then I got quick really fast because I had all the, like, high school boys all like training me doing all the private lessons you your brother was a swimmer too yeah, yeah my brother was a swimmer too i my goal was to beat him that was my sole <laughs> goal i was like if i can beat him i don't care about anything else <laughs> that was definitely fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um so i switched teams i was like i don't want anybody to know me on the team so i went to lawrence kansas 45 minutes away aqua hawks um, I came into practice. He was a brand new coach coming from Louisiana, and he had no idea who I was, and I loved it. Mm. And I became like the junior national swimmer, national swimmer with him. That's and, amazing. Yeah. Um, back in fourteen fifteen, when it was like coaches could only start calling you June first, going into your senior year right. they couldn't do anything like official visits nothing like that until september 1st um my coach told me after that he was like yeah you weren't even on our radar until like junior year maybe and yeah. now looking at it, it's like they're recruiting the freshmen and everything so like, yeah you know <laughs> because they, all the recruiting changes so much yeah. so if i was at that time i wouldn't even be recruited for here Dang. Cause I just progressed very, very quickly. So that's amazing though that they worked out the way it did. I mean, if you look at everything that happened to you from you know eleven to fourteen, and then that that when you made that switch from that coach, did you make the commute every day to Kansas forty five minutes? Oh yeah. So um, in the summer it was. Well, I'll start with school. So school, um, we did double practices, okay. and my coach was like, "Okay, you're in the national group. You have to come." And I was like. I have school at 7.30 and practice gets done at 6.45 because Ooh. their their pool was right next, like connected to most of the kids' high school, so they just walk over. Yeah. And mine's a 45 minute drive exactly. on a Kansas I-70 turnpike. <laughs> oh, I know that turnpike. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So in traffic with that, awesome. Kansas City traffic. Yeah. It You're looking at like an hour almost. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. An hour, hour fifteen with all the traffic. I was like, I can't do that. He was like, Okay, well, let's get like you in a weight room or something. Mm-hmm. So my mom finds a gym and she finds a personal trainer and. She's like, she's a swimmer. She can't go to the morning practices. She needs to do something in the morning. And he was really, really good. He was like, okay, I'm not going to take her on. And because he, he's like MMA, Ethan oh. Benda, like just very, I, you might not know his name, but he's very big personal trainer, very big into MMA. And he only takes on people that are like wanting to go up in whatever they're doing. Oh, yeah. Right. And as a 16-year-old, I'm, he's probably looking at me like, a 16-year-old doing? trying to just have fun. Yeah. And he was like, let me see if I can even, like, accommodate for swimming because he did all the research on how to train a swimmer. Oh, he's a good, he's a good yeah. trainer. Yeah. So That's he was amazing. like, okay, when can she do it? My mom was like, she can do it at three fi- or 5.15 in the morning. So I started my day at the gym, 5.15 in the morning, got done at 6.15, went back home. Um, School starts at 7.30. School gets done at 3.36, because public school, they like to get their money. Yeah. And then I would practice, started at 4.30. So I had to run out of school to beat all the school traffic, Mm -hmm. because there's only two exits to our school. Mm And then I'd have to get on the highway, hope there wasn't traffic, and make it to practice on time. Um, that 45 minute, 45 minute drive down there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, it would be, I'd be right on time, normally. 
and I sometimes if I was like running late or had to talk to a teacher I'd like put on my suit while I'm driving <laughs> yeah what? oh yeah and that was every day that was every day uh-huh and oh, then I'd get God. practice would get done around 6 30 to our practice I get home oh depending on how long I wanted to talk to my friends around 7 30 7 45 and I'd get dinner and then I'd start my homework See, that makes sense to me right now. Like, how you got here and, like, how you made it to that far. Because at yeah. 16, you're doing 5, 15 a.m. Mm -hmm. lifts with an MMA trainer. Then making that commute after school, 45 minutes to train. And on top of that, you still have to somehow manage schoolwork with that. Like, yeah, that, that yeah. doesn't even make any sense. And especially not in high school. That's that's truly mm -hmm. insane. So, when you came into college with that mindset that you had in high school, was it more than you expected? Like, difficulty-wise? Was it less? Was, or was it the exact same kind of what you dealt with in high school, the, the, like the workload of everything? Um, the biggest shock, because I like have to, had planned so far in advance right. in high school, I was like, okay, I need to leave by 3 to get it, to practice at 3.45 or something <laughs> like that. And I was like, hmm, I'm way early. I don't have to leave the dorms until 3.30. Oh, so you were good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I did the amount of time like i used to do driving i was like i could use this time to do something yeah <laughs> yeah training wise it was it, w it was definitely like different because training styles i'm sure you guys know it's like a shift yeah right but it was fun it was fun to learn the shift at that time our um coaches tuesday thursdays afternoons we do a whole kick practice I hated kick. What is what was the kick practice? What is that? A kick practice yeah, is like you, you know how swimmers swim. Yeah. You know, have you ever seen um like swimmers using a kickboard? Mm -hmm, like and the flat board. Yeah, yeah. The flat board and then they're just kicking their feet. Mm -hmm. Two hours of that. <laughs> yeah, I knew it was Two hours of that like in kind of different increments, that. either like doing it for distance wise so like 10 200s on three minutes or it could even be like underwaters so do you know the michael phelps underwater shoot yeah. of him them just talking about how great they are um <laughs> so underwaters would be doing a full 25 underwater and just like sets wow. of that so that Hey, like if, if y'all doing kicks, kick practices, I man, good luck. That's <laughs> insane. That is crazy. That is truly insane. That was the biggest shock to me. Wow. But, okay. Yeah. My bad. But, um, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that's, that, that is crazy. But going back to when you say you had, like, you had more free time, mm -hmm. uh, what, were, what were some things that you started adding on to your life that kind of, that you did to fill those spaces? Honestly, I spent more time on schoolwork. Okay. We like yeah. that. We like that. I, I like... Because, um, what do we call it? Study hall. The mm -hmm. study hall. Right. I was like, wow, I can... I mean, we had mandatory eight hours mm -hmm. in, in high school. I was like, just trying to get it done. It doesn't matter. Like, eh. Yeah. Right. You right. know? I was like, wow, I can actually, like, learn things. <laughs> Not just, <laughs> just do a paper. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dang, okay. Mm -hmm. And how did you... Uh, compete as a freshman then how did you stand up against the other girls and the rest of the Big Ten um so I did better than I thought because usually um like even as a freshman in high school with a new coach I always like need a processing year right and then the next year is really really good so my freshman year I I was recruited for I am I did do I am I thought I was recruited for back Later, Pat tells me, mm, we didn't know what you were going to do. <laughs> we knew it was I am. Just but we, were, we weren't <laughs> sure. Because I, I had a good fly time, like a decent fly time. I had a good, I was getting good at breaststroke at the time, too. Um, but, like, state and everything, I would do backstroke. Mm. So I won the 100 back at state, and I won the 200 I am at state. So, like, I was like, those are my events. Um, so I go into like our meetings with my goals and I had two I am goal, um, 
a 200 back goal and a 100 breast goal because I kind of knew that they were trying to shift me to breaststroke, but mm. I didn't know how big of a shift it was. Right. So he was like, mm, we're going to put you in 2 IM, 200 breast, and 100 breast. I was like, mm, oh, I back. hate the 200 breast. <laughs> <laughs>